Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome to the Good Life Cooking Vlog. Today we're making broccoli pasta bake and we're starting off with fresh broccoli, half a pepper and some spring onions and some pasta I've got there. So first of all we'll just start by putting in the pasta in the bowl. There we go. I'm just going to do a bit of this one now. Oh yeah, I think I've more than enough. More than enough pasta. I'm just going to make enough, like for two or three days, portion prepping with make fish on the side or meat on the side, or even like a piece of pizza. So this is what we're starting off with. There's a nice decent portion of pasta in there. Put that to the side and then we'll start chopping our veg. Just wanted to share a hadith with you, some commandments. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, say to mankind, if you really love Allah, then follow me. Allah will love you and forgive you your sins. And Allah is forgiving, most merciful to all. Allah also said, verily, those who believe in the oneness of Allah, the oneness of God and his messenger, Muhammad peace be upon him, being the final messenger and do good deeds, the most gracious Allah will bestow love for them in the hearts of mankind. And Allah also says, and he who performs deeds of righteousness, he is a believer and he will have no fear of injustice or of any curtainment of his rewards meaning he will get full rewards it's a white sauce and you don't need it unless you have to have everything with um, cheese and then fair dues you can put some cheese in when we make the sauce okay so now we're going to add the broccoli yeah, chop the bottom off I'm left with that just take off the leaves of the broccoli because you know this stalk of the broccoli uh, you just eat it's got lots of nutritional value in there i know a lot of people just do this or get the get the florets so that's what you're going to cook with but no this is this is got lots of nutrition in this broccoli here yeah lots of nutrition so let's just start this we'll do the florets first and you know they take not a lot of time to cook. I'm just putting them in my uh, bowl as I go along. I'll show you the bowl in a minute. This is like a no fuss meal menu plan. This is your like, you know, on those days where you like you get in late from whatever you're doing during the day and you're too tired to cook. If you make this in advance, portion it out into plastic containers, you take it out and then I don't know, say if you've got some frozen chicken wings or something. You just have chicken wings and this on the side. That's a complete meal. Because you've got your veg, you've got your protein. You've got really three vegetables going in this, besides from the red pasta and the broccoli. With your sauce, you've got your spring onions. And spring onions will make your sauce taste slightly sweet. And also, um, you can use any onion. You can use red onion, white onion shallots anything i'm just using my spring onions up because i want i don't want to waste them so then this this part of the broccoli that i'm chopping up you do have to slightly chop it thinner because as you know it's the stem and the stem is going to need just that little bit more care because we want it to just melt in the mouth not be obvious that oh there's a bit of stem there of broccoli i do like my uh, vegetables cooked and slightly hard not al dente but slightly hard i don't like them mushy but with the pasta dish they do get softer but i mean it's pasta so it's okay the pasta is going to cook as well in the water there you go right so that's done and now this is going to be for the sauce. Just want to like this. Right, 
this as well as I can. Right. And just get the stalks, chop them off. I do like the greens of the stalks, but there seems to be a lot of papery uh paperiness on there because like I said these are just lying in my fridge. So I'll waste not want not. Let's continue. And now we'll peel these. And I mean if you don't have any any type of onion in your house and you've only got onion powder, you'll just use some onion powder in your um sauce probably just like half a teaspoon not more than that could be overpowering this will be put um my my skins and things these things will be put in for stock i freeze it so it doesn't go off or bad or anything and then you know when i've got time i'll either make vegetable stock or chicken stock because i've got lots of old chicken bones in the freezer then you just boil them and boil them and then they just turn into stock one day I'll do a stock video for you so you can see and it's good when you make your own stock it's got no preservatives no rubbish in there you know you've made it yourself and you know what's in it and that's the best thing about making your own stock and it will be gelatinous as well you know when it gets cold and you've uh, put it away it, it's got jelly it's got jelly on it as well which adds more flavor and the jelly is very good for your joints so now what we're going to do with this is we're going to start sauteing this in the pan and we're going to make a roux and then add water to it okay just let me move this out of the way so i can just show you the pasta bowl right so this is our bowl of pasta now Okay, so I mean you can mix it up because we're, we're going to put the white sauce on this. The pasta is raw. Pasta will cook in the sauce because we're going to make the sauce after we've cooked it slightly uh, watery so the pasta will absorb everything. And I said like these florets of uh, broccoli, they'll become soft. If I just do this, no need to season this at the moment because the sauce will have seasoning in it. bit giant size that isn't it yep well I mean, this is really good for kids this this is like a meal for kids in itself just a nice uh, broccoli bake pasta bake it disguises everything you can put as much vegetables as you want in there and just smother it with the sauce and especially if you've got fussy ones put the cheese on top then so they can't see it but like i said if you leave it um just with the white sauce it's like a neutral carb with veggies and you can put it with any any poultry, anything, any fish, fish fingers, whatever you want to put. Even chicken nuggets. It makes a nice meal. So next step is just to make the white sauce. So I've got my pan ready. That's just water drying off. I'll add some oil. Do need quite a bit because we're going to make a roux, remember, from it. And then we're going to turn the heat down slightly because we only want to just uh, fry the onions off like softly. Don't really want to make them brown or caramelized as you can see they're softening yeah and we don't like i said i don't want them brown they're soft enough spring in are soft when you're cooking them that's one Bismillah. two that's three tablespoons of flour then all we're going to do to that is just stir it up and then when it comes into a paste then we'll add the milk slowly Now, mine's a bit dry because it's not really a paste, it's a crumbly uh, flour at the minute because my milk is full, full fat, like, you know, the special milk that you get from Asda's and that. So that's why I haven't overly put so much fat in because my milk is uh, full fat, like from the Jersey cows. So just bear with me. So I put one litre of milk in there. Can you see that's the fat? 
This looks like butter really, doesn't it? But that's the milk from the Jersey cow. So that's going to melt as well. Flour's in there. Now all, all, all you have to do now is watch this and just stir it. And it will thicken up because you put three tablespoons in. But we don't want it, like I said, to go too thick uh, because the pasta's not cooked. So then all we do is this. And we'll add half a teaspoon of salt and uh, half a teaspoon of black pepper to this. Obviously, if you wanted to make, uh, make it slightly spicy, you can add red chilli flakes and things like that. But um, I like to keep the recipe nice and simple because I, I like white sauce. I like a uh, white sauce like this. I don't add chilli or, um, you know, garlic and ginger to it because this has got a really nice flavour. And also, it brings out the flavour of the vegetables as well. So we'll just keep doing this now until it um, thickens up and then I'll show you what to do next. And also I've preheated my oven as well on uh, 200 while this bubbles away. Okay, so when your sauce is like this, it's all bubbly bubbly and it is getting thick but it's not, it's not very thick. But believe me, it will become very thick. So when your sauce is like this, let me just do it this way. When your sauce is runny like that, then carefully put it into your pasta bowl and then you put it in the oven on 180 and just let it cook for 40 minutes, depending on your oven, 40 to 45 minutes. And I'm going to put a tin foil on my casserole because the casserole lid, I can't find it. So this is what you need to do now. See, it's just reducing down because of all the air in it when it was bubbly. I just stood here and just stirred it. It doesn't take long. Put it on a fast flame, but just don't leave it alone. See, it's just reducing from up here. It's going down, it's reducing. But like I say, this will become thick because also the pasta is going to absorb all of that liquid. So I'll just show you before I pop it in the oven. So this is what it looks like now before it goes into the oven. It is quite watery, like I showed you. It's quite watery. If you feel that yours isn't watery enough, just add like half a cup of water to it because like, you know, like if we all had them pasta jars and then they say, oh, you know, put in 200 grams of pasta and just fill the jar up with water and the tomato based jar. It's just the same. It's got to be liquidy enough like that. And then this will cook, uh, like I said, at 180, 40 to 45 minutes. I'm putting uh, foil over it. But if you've got a lid, it's nice to just put the lid on and then just let it cook. Okay, be back in a bit. Okay, so folks, this is what it looks like afterwards. Pasta, broccoli bake. It's very lovely. Just have to give it a stir through. Everything's cooked. Pasta is cooked. Just trying to make the... You see the pasta's cooked? It's very lush. They definitely keep you warmer winter. So I'll put some on the side because like it's proper hot I'll taste it now for you and let you know what it tastes like it is hot let's have a go Bismillah. Mm. it's very tasty it's very nice it's lovely I'll just try a bit of broccoli broccoli hot mmm it's lovely I hope you do try this let me know in your comments if you tried it and what you thought of it it's very nice and it's a very budget friendly meal as well and like it's made loads of uh, portions there at least like for five six people portion because this uh, I know this um, Pyrex dish is for about five to six people so this is giving good portion. Just wait till it totally gets cold and then you portion it into your little freezer boxes. And then you've got, you know, emergency uh, food when you're getting tired sometimes and you can't be asked to cook, you just take it out and then if you want to put cheese on it or you can mix it with tuna even, really quick meal and do it like that. So folks, I hope you enjoyed this. I enjoyed your company please come again and watch my channel please share subscribe and like 
Okay, Allah bless you. God bless you. Bye.